Welcome to BCH Technologies. This video, uh, we're going to troubleshoot uh, some problem with uh, uh, spongeless refillable cartridge for uh, Canon 240, 241. Uh, this pair of cartridge, the problem is uh, uh, the user forgot to glue the middle of the color cartridge. So all the color are mixing together and uh, the black uh, color is not coming out. So the black is clogged and the color one, we need more glue in the middle. The user bought a kit from uh, bchtechnologies.com and a uh, mod kit for Canon. And this, there's a uh, mod kit for spongeless cartridge. Uh, the first thing we do is uh, get a cartridge uh, printed protected. So we'll get the first piece uh, with the non-glue part towards the printed and the glue part towards us. So the sticky part it, it right now is towards my finger. So we don't want to get any glue on the top of the uh, printed. So the second one is the uh, glue part down, the second piece. Okay, you can see uh, it stick to the cartridge. And the third piece and make it go a little over the the underneath piece. So uh, so if you have a super glue uh, dropping down from the top and uh, the super glue will now uh, penetrate the tapes and get on your electronic ribbon. You can see I got uh, two pieces of uh, tapes just in case. Okay, now we brought off over uh, execution style, uh, super heavy duty, uh, what you call this, uh, toy. And then we send the cover down. The removal of a cap make it the the top top layer uneven, and you can see uh, if I put a, a cover on, and there will be big gap, and it will not be airtight. So I'm going to use a super glue gel. Uh, it's a gel type. It's it take a long time to cure, so uh, I'm going to use this and. Uh, uh, leave it on for at least 12 hours. Uh, the glue the middle T is really important because uh, after this step, there's no way that you can fix it. So I'm going to do extra glue uh, on the cover. So I press it down, I make sure the middle is airtight. If there's some any gap, I create this in this time, it, it's possible will be gaps around it. I can just add more glues. And uh, in the middle, there's nothing I can do to fix it. So I'm using the end of the tube to kind of sculpture it and try to push more gels in between the, the gap uh, of the cover and the base. Okay, now I'm checking how airtight it is. By, uh, I'm going to blow air into the cartridge. We should see there's no air coming out from the border of the top. However, we should be able to see air bubbles coming from the bottom of the cartridge, of the, the, the from the printhead. So in this case, the the sign is airtight. However, uh, the problem is uh, the sign is clogged. So so uh, we uh, we need to unclog it. So the yellow, uh, which is on the, the top side of the cartridge, is still leaking. So we're going to identify 
the leak source, and we're going to put a more super glue on it. So the testing actually started didn't go well. So we put a color cartridge in and end up with an error code. It says E05. So E05 is uh, the printer cannot detect the cartridge. When we look at cartridge, this cartridge is uh, this one we modified is the is non-virgin cartridge. Non-virgin cartridge has been refilled and uh, um, basically they sell it to the junkyard and the junkyard sell to those refill company and uh, they clean it up. And what you can see is uh, they glue another uh, ribbon on top of the existing ribbon. The new ribbon will tell the cartridge uh, the, the ink is full and uh, you, you use just like uh, the previous ribbon. So you get full, then you get empty. Um, the virgin cartridge, you can see the, um, the uh, electronic ribbon is still original, it's small, much, much smaller. So after cleaning it, uh, we, which I think the non-virgin uh, non chip, uh, which they go on top of the virgin chip, uh, is defective. So we have to change that. Uh, the beauty about non-virgin cartridge is uh, you can just peel the uh, the chip off and expose the virgin chip underneath. And uh, some of them have a second life by doing this. Euphoria was fading fast too. Uh, the cartridge is severely clogged, so uh, we do the regular. Wow, look at that. It doesn't look like virgin anyway. Um, maybe it just feel like virgin. Um, so uh, we blow some uh, air from the top and uh, for each color and uh, try to correct it. And you can see yellow and blue, there, uh, there's no ink coming out. So we uh, soak it and, uh, and blow more air and just keep doing it. Eventually, we successful unclog the cyan and the yellow. However, it's the magenta. Uh, that, that one is totally weird. We actually had a suspicion about uh, the magenta before. When you uh, put the air in, it shouldn't spread out like that. So. It should be more like the other two colors are gradually coming out. So we just conclude the magenta nozzles were totally worn out. And uh, it's because this is non-virgin, so you don't know what happened before. And uh, eventually we actually just, sh just ship a different unit to the customer and uh, told her th this one is not fixable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at uh, bchtechnologies.com or locally at Westboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Have a good day.